Get ready to match the stars. Gary Berghoff, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Wright, Susan Howard, Richard Dawson, and Fanny Flagg. As we play the star stuck Big Money Match Game 76. And now here's the star of Match Game 76, Gene Ryder. Thank you, Johnny Olsen and friends. Everybody ready? Yeah. Are you all ready? What you have in mind, honey. <laughs> awesome. You rascal. Well, let's go over here and say hello to these two charming ladies, shall we? Sure. They are Valerie Shortino and Chris Borgeson. <laughs> this lady's won quite a bit of money. She's our current champ. She has $3,450 to her credit. And we're uh, in this game here. She's being challenged by Chris Borgeson, who's had her first round question and didn't do too well with it. And we'll find out how you do with yours in a moment or so, but right now, let's find out about this, shall we? All right, that's awfully decent. Ready? Okay, here we go. Bing. Second half of round one, Valerie. This is your first question in this game, and it goes like this. The school teacher said, most of my students bring me apples, but the surgeon's son just put a blank on my desk. <laughs> Most of my students bring me apples, but the surgeon's son just put a blank on my desk. Oh, there is so many wonderful apples yes. for that, aren't there? Charles, it's the first one finished. I'm Thank really amazed. I'm the uh, first. What'd you say, dear? That's nice. Very good. <clears throat> All right. That's not the right answer. There it's she Jerry's. The there already. Answer. Fanny is found floundering. I am. I must say I'm floundering. Floundering here. Fanny. Come on on. We have places to go and things to do, darling, later today. You've got to get busy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here I got go. it. Thank you. Valerie, the school teacher said, most of my students bring me apples. You know that tradition, bring the teacher an apple. But the surgeon's son just put a blank on my desk. All right. Knife on my desk. A knife. Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're trying to tell you something. What they're trying to tell you is, it may not match anyone over there. Well. We'll find out right now. Gary, she says a knife. This kid would keep anybody away. You brought a heart. A heart. <laughs> Some part of the body, you see. The, uh, Brett? And then a beating gallbladder. A gallbladder. <laughs> oh, boy. Charles? And then a stoned appendix. <laughs> An appendix. If we uh, keep going far enough here, we could make the $6 million man, couldn't we? <laughs> what do you say? He'd have two hearts. Two hearts. Well, that's why they call him the $6 million man. <laughs> and two appendices. And two appendices. I'm and Fanny? I'm sorry, honey. Gall... Gallstone. Stone. So we got the stones and the, everything there and the hearts and all that. Okay. Round two coming up. Chris, what do you say? You can try B again. Try B again. Very persistent lady, isn't she? Let's see how she does with this one. At the circus, the old ringmaster said to the new ringmaster, Remember, son, no matter how tired you get, never take a nap under the blank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got a good one for that. Yes? I've got a, no. You got a good one? <laughs> Come and tell I, me. I can't do that. I, do it again. See if I can catch up. <laughs> no. with something smart. What? Quit you're, show business. You're finished. <laughs> yeah, what? Did okay. you finish? Yeah. Say it again. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> no. Read it. Oh, the read it. Yeah. At the circus, the old ringmaster said to the new ringmaster, "Remember, son, no matter how tired you get, never take a nap under the." The you, the you fill in the blank things. is the way it goes. Well, I know I fill in the blank. I've been doing it for three years. <laughs> but not well. <laughs> okay. Whoops, I'm sorry. We're trapped there. Thank you. Okay. How did that happen? Sorry about that. Okay, they're all finished, so we'll call on Chris. At the circus, the old ringmaster said to the new ringmaster, Remember, son, no matter how tired you get, Never take a nap under the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
fucking hear what she said. He did one day, and after they dug him out, four hours later, they said, now, have you had enough? He says, what, and quit your biz? <laughs> <laughs> the elephant. The elephant. Uncle Chris. <laughs> what was her answer? She said, elephant. <laughs> Just like that. Very cute. Wasn't that adorable? She's adorable. Well, why not? I said, elephant. Elephant. <laughs> okay. That's two for you, Chris. Charles. I'm just going to show my car because I couldn't act as good as the three of you. Oh, I see. <laughs> you don't do, old man. Okay, Act Susan. Well no matter how tired you get, never take a nap under the elephant. Four elephants. Give us an elephant, Richard. Lion. Lion. <laughs> You let that girl down. We didn't mean to. Okay. We did our That's four for you, and now let's see what they're going to do for you. Valerie, are you ready for yours? I'm ready. All right, ready. you got to match four to stay in the game. As Carl was blowing up the balloon, he hiccuped, and the balloon went into his mouth and came out of his blank. <laughs> Choice answer is. Well, nah, nah, nah. Do any, whatever comes to your mind, please, whatever you think. As Kyle was blowing up the balloon, he hiccuped and the balloon went into his mouth and came out of his blank. Oh, please, I have a Girl Scout group. That's very good. Not anymore, you That's don't. That's very good. All right, we're waiting for you up here. You're waiting for you up where? Okay. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I have other work, you know. <laughs> I hope so. Valerie, <laughs> as Carl was blowing up the balloon, he hiccuped and the balloon went into his mouth and came out of his blank. His bottom. His bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and you wanted the second no. one. <laughs> Barry, what do you say? I say I don't think I should do this show anymore. <laughs> I, this it's is what I, that's what I meant. I was just trying to say it. The rumbles is rumble seat. Is rumble seat? <laughs> okay, that's one match for you, Valerie. Brett. Oh darn it all! Anyway, I said it came out of his navel. That's very good. That was my answer. Fireplace. I would have said navel too. What'd you say? No. No. That's not bad. Uh, Valerie, you got to match her lower tier here to stay in the game. Let's see what happens. Okay, Susan. If you put an R in front of it. Ears. No, Cam, what's the rest of you have? Ears and nose. Congratulations to you. Okay, you stand by for a moment or so there. We'll talk to you in a moment. But right now, we got to say goodbye to you. You're going to leave here with $3,450. Really? How was Thank it? Thank you. Thank you so much, and I'm so happy about it. Good. Bye. Valerie Chantino. Goodbye, my dear. Okay. Uh, while we're spinning her off, we'll spin these messages, then you hurry back and see how she does. This lady's just won her first game. She's got $100 now. She will try for over $5,000. How do you feel about that? Ready? Oh, yes. Well, all right. Uh, Chris, we polled a recent studio audience and we got their best response to this. The blank queen. Now, the answer that group gave most often is worth $500 to you if you match it. If you match that middle one, the answer they gave second most frequently, you get $250. And the bottom one gets you $100. Okay, let's pick out some celebrities over here. Oh, Richard. Well, I guess uh, the African queen. Right. Okay. Uh, Gary. The Rose Queen. The Rose Queen. Okay. Susan. There are two I have. I'm going to go with the Virgin Queen. The Virgin Queen? That would have been Queen Elizabeth, right? <laughs> the first, not the second. Whatever you say. <laughs> All right, so you have the Virgin Queen, the African Queen, and the Rose Queen. Now, you may have a better idea than any of those, do you? 
No, I thought of the African queen. You did? Okay, okay that's the one we'll go looking for. Let us go look for the African queen. Let's find out down at the bottom there if it's under the $100 response. The Virgin Queen is Susan's answer. Worth every penny. Yes, of course, they did. We're looking for the African Queen. Let's find out if it's under the $250 response. The oh. King and Queen. Hmm. All right, it's the last chance for the African Queen. Don't get smart with me, Cookie. Okay. <laughs> All right, African Queen. Let's see it. So now, Chris, you got 500, you got $600 all together. Mm -hmm. And the important part of this part of it is that you play for 10 times 500 or $5,000. Now to collect, you got to match one. You have to name one. Oh, Richard's a good kisser. I'll pick Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Fanny's not bad either. <laughs> okay. Your husband can try Fanny and you'll try Richard. All right. <laughs> Here Sounds it is. like a good idea to me. <laughs> Remember, it's my show. <laughs> Ready? This is worth five thousand dollars. Here we go. State blank. It's S T A T E. State blank. Now he's finished, Chris. What answer would you suggest that would match his? You got your ESP going? State. Blank. State capital. State capital. <laughs> just came to you at last minute. She said she was blank, and that just no. occurred to you at the last second. The state capital. Blank. You weren't. What? What, what other answer yeah. did you have? I was going to say state trooper, but the state last trooper. You no, know, you changed your mind and said mm -hmm. state capital. All right, Richard. She says that'll match you for five thousand dollars. There's a lot of them. There are a lot. State of the I Union. I thought of State Fair. State Fair is a very common one. I'm sorry, Bob. All right, they both come up with a couple of good ones. Chris has got her $600, and now she's going to meet another player. So let's welcome Sergeant Kathy Ruer. How do you feel? Good. Okay, now it's stopped. You can get up there. Hello, Kathy. Hi. You know this lady? Hi. I sure do. <laughs> well, we welcome uh, Sergeant Kathy Ruer and ask her to tell us a little bit about herself. Well, I'm originally from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm presently in the Air Force Reserves, and I'm a recruiter. You're a recruiter? A recruiter. Where do you do that? Around here somewhere? Well, all over California right now. All over California? Yes. Well, you I try guess... and recruit me, and I'll tell my real age. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I know. I'd sign up, wouldn't you? Would you sign up? You have There's any planes going kind of to Vegas? That many spaces. <laughs> <laughs> I'd join right away. <laughs> Kathy, as a challenger, we ask you to make a selection. I'd like B. B. All right, here we go. B. A new game. Old man Periwinkle said. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. I just enlisted in the old folks' army. In our army, you get a medal just for blanking. <laughs> old man Periwinkle said, I just enlisted in the old folks' army. In our army, you get a medal just for blanking. Oh, I already have it. Did you ever have that? Old man Periwinkle said, I just enlisted in the old folks' army. In our army, you get a medal just for blanking. Okay? Okay. Ready? Wait, Ready. Sure. <laughs> have you thought about it enough, Kathy, or do you want me to give you a little more thinking time? No, I'm fine. You're ready? Yes. Lay it on us. Staying awake. Staying awake. <laughs> mm. You got one yay and three boos. The others are undecided. <laughs> well, she woke up one guy. <laughs> All right. What'd you say? I said just for living. Just for living. Just... Okay. And what'd you say? She said staying awake. I, I, I said just for breathing. Yeah! Breathing. That's a good answer, Charles. I said just for saluting. For saluting. Right now, get your arm up there. It's very hard, right? What do you think? He said standing up. No. <laughs> 
Breathing. What are you saying? Help, breathe, breathe, oh. Breathing. 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 Breath
I know you're not supposed to mention any brand names, but I need something new. Jockey Shorts. Oh. Jockey Shorts. There's one for uh, Kathy. Uh, Charles. I gave a Patty Deutsch type of answer. <laughs> My water on the knee. My water on the knee. That is. I'm sick of you, Charles. Yes. Sick All right, Susan, what, what do you say? You I said shorts. 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 That's two, Richard. Jockey shorts. Jockey shorts. On you. Sorry, shirt. I'm shirt. Sorry. So that's three for you. And when we get to you, you're going to have to have two to tie, three to win. But right now, this. The next time we get together, these are the very people. Some of these people will return. Oh. Some will not. Oh. Yeah, Find out who. Next I've been week. fired. Joey Bishop, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Arlene Fraser, Richard Dawson, and Joyce Bielbaum. Terrific. Gonna see all of you again sometime soon. Gene Rayburn here, Match Game 76. Goodbye. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 76, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Stay tuned for Tattletales next over most of these CBS stations.